Good morning. I know I don't look so great and yes I am wearing clothes underneath this. I'm just cold because I'm in Virginia and weather changes every day. Last night um, I didn't end the vlog the way I really wanted to. I didn't really end it at all and I didn't really hang out with anyone either. I had plans to hang out with um, my friend Keely and Jason and his um, friend Lexi who's wonderful and also my friend. Um, but Ethan went to go check on Stuart, my hamster, last night. And if y'all follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that Stuart is a pretty big part of my life. And Stuart had passed away in his sleep. So he was about three years old, which is pretty old for a teddy bear hamster. Um, doesn't really make it any easier. I don't think he was ill or anything. He just got old and passed away. So, just kind of being alone and sad now. So, <laughs> story time about Stuart. He is actually, or was actually, my second hamster. My very first hamster's name was Remy, named after the mouse in Ratatouille. Remy got wet tail two days in, and we took him back to PetSmart and he passed away. And it was very unfortunate. So a few days later, as I was looking around at all the different places and stuff, um, I found Stuart, which was great. And we picked him because he climbed up a glass wall to come say hi to us. Like, you climbed up a glass wall. How did you do that? I don't know. I still don't know. But he was a little white and red hamster. He looked just like the hamster emoji. Very cute. He never bit me once. Not once. Um, we made him a special cage. Uh, I call it a crate. It's more like a crate. Um, it's made out of, I think, a 116 liter Tupperware. So the gigantic Tupperwares that you store clothes in to put in the, the attic or something like that. The huge Tupperware bins. Yeah, a bin. A Tupperware bin. Um, we cut out the sides and lined them with chicken wire instead. And screwed them in all nice and made sure he wouldn't be able to hurt himself and had plenty of space and um, he had little levels in his cage with like little wood planks and he loved climbing on them. He had his little wheel and he loved his igloo and his toys and his chew stick and he had a little mason jar in there that we actually trained him to pee pee in there instead of like everywhere else. So he was a litter trained hamster. He was extremely smart. He loved rolling around in his ball. Um, the only thing with Stuart was I wasn't allowed to have him because when I got him, I was a junior in college. So he lived in my dorm room closet. <laughs> so he was my illegal hamster for the entirety of my junior year and the entirety of my senior year. So. That's a long time. I got Stuart and Remy. Um, the, the reason I got them was because I was having a really tough time in my life. I had just been in a burn accident and my right forearm all the way out to my fingers, my right leg, um, my left foot were covered in burns. My foot had a third degree burn. Everything else was like fresh blisters every day. It sucked. And I needed to take my mind off of it, so I got Stuart and Remy. Remy was a gray hamster. He was a little one. Not a dwarf. He was still a Syrian um, teddy bear hamster, but yeah, it's my boys. So, funny stories.
all the times that we've had to move Stuart in and out of my room so he wouldn't get caught. Um, Sandy uh, is actually very afraid of Stuart, or was very afraid of Stuart. Bambi really liked him and would bark at him and play with him. Um, there was one time that we lost Stuart in our old apartment back in the other apartment. If you've been watching for a long time, you know that we've switched apartments in this complex for a couple reasons. But he actually got lost in that apartment. Um, I told Ethan to watch him because we let him free roam. So he's just running around by his little self with his tiny feet everywhere and the carpet and stuff and loving it. And I told Ethan to watch him and Ethan forgot. So we ended up finding Stuart all the way in the back underneath our bed. So, but I was so scared that he'd gotten outside. The front door was open. It's not an unfounded fear. Like I was actually scared that he got outside. Um, but he passed away last night. Yep, there's nothing anyone can really do about that. So, today's gonna be just a little bit of a lazy day. I don't know if I really wanna vlog today. So, we'll see, I'll probably just post this and then have a quiet day, because I don't feel good. So. Happy Vlogmas Day 6.